This video shows how to create shortcuts for removable devices that will always work. Windows 10 assigns drive letters to removable devices in the order they're plugged in. If you plug them in in a different order, their drive letters change and their shortcuts will no longer work. We'll show you how to assign permanent drive letters to devices, then create shortcuts that will always work. Make sure to set the Write Protect tab on your memory cards to Read Write. If you can identify your devices by name, just plug them all in. If not, open your My Computer or This PC folder and locate the area where the devices are listed. Plug your devices in one at a time, identify them as they appear, and then rename them so you can locate them in the future. To rename a device in this window, just right-click it, select Rename, type the new name, and exit. Now to reserve and assign a drive letter to a device, type Disk Management in the Windows search box and press Enter. To reserve a drive letter for the device, right-click the device, and select Change Drive Letter and Paths. If it doesn't have a letter assigned to it currently, you would click Add. If it had a letter and you wanted to change it, you'd click Change. So there's already one there. So I'll click Change. Make sure Assign the following drive letter is checked and select the new drive letter from the list. I'm not going to change it, I'll select the same one. And then click OK. Now, OK is not clickable because I didn't change it. So that's the way you add or change drive letters assigned to d devices. Now, if you close that window and go back to your My Computer window, to create a desktop shortcut to these removable devices, simply drag them to the desktop from this window. What it will do, if there aren't any already, is it'll, it'll give the name that's in the My Computer folder, and then it'll add the word shortcut preceded by a hyphen. I would suggest all you do in terms of changing the name of the shortcut is get rid of the word shortcut and the hyphen. It will be easier to see what's going on if you have the same name for the actual device name and the name on the desktop. So that's how you do it. Now in the future, as I mentioned, Windows will reassign letters for all these guys and based on the order they're plugged in unless you have reserved and assigned letters to them. So these will stay put. These will always work if the particular device is plugged in. And if it's not plugged in, it'll say so. That will also apply to memory cards. I do have one memory card plugged in at the moment, and that's this one. That's a memory card. They work just like USB devices. You, you reserve letters exactly the same way. If you enjoyed this Tom's Tech Notes video, please like it and please leave a comment. To watch my other videos or to read many computer help articles, please visit my YouTube channel or my website. You can also click links in the video description. When thumbnails appear, click the thumbnail at upper left to watch other videos related to this one. Click at lower left to watch a video specially recommended for you. Click my photo to visit the Tom's Tech Notes channel. To subscribe, please click the red button. If you don't see the red button, hover over my photo to show it.